I was born in an American Muslim family, but I am not going to give this speech as an American citizen, nor will I give it as a Muslim, but I will give it as a human being. Erno Isaac Bari, known as God of Mathematics, made a trip to a historic university to give a speech. I came to Yale University not to praise the Rondo Moderan Runtime, but to criticize the policies of Kashmir. By revoking the special status of Kashmir, India gave Pakistan a chance to use Kashmir as a political pawn. I came here to tell Mr. Woody to restore Article 370 immediately, and I came here to tell Mr. Khan to stop using Kashmir as a political pawn. When I look at the world, from Syria to Palestine, from Burma to Kashmir, I hear cries and torture and I see the tears and blood of oppressed people. I know my speech won't change the behavior of Mr. Woody or Mr. Khan, but it will give the people of Kashmir hope. It will give them strength, but most importantly, it will give them a strategy, a strategy to turn Kashmir from a political pawn to the lighthouse of the world. A strategy to turn terrorists to scientists. I was born in an American Muslim family, but I am not going to give this speech as an American citizen, nor will I give it as a Muslim, but I will give it as a human being, because my identity as a human being is larger than my identity as a Muslim. When I was four, my father told me a story that his grandpa, Kamuro Rasin, told him when he was four. Abdul's father's name was Maulami Abdul Hadi. Hadi was an imam at a local mosque. Hadi's father uh, was converted from Hinduism to Islam. So that means my great 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 grandfather was originally Hindu. So if I were to give this speech as a Muslim, I would be biased to Islam which would be an insult to my great-great-great-grandfather. This is one of the reasons why I'm giving this speech, just like my father, the human being. In 2007, my father went to India for the first time to launch his book ceremony in Park Hotel. Dr. Muhammad Yunus came as a chief guest from Bangladesh. In that ceremony, my dad revealed that his great great grandfather, as I just told you, was Hindu. That evening, a Muslim man angrily knocked on his door. And when my dad opened, the Muslim man screamed, Never, never tell anyone your relationship with Hindu, because Hindus are Kabir, and your religion is fake. My father was so forsaken upon listening to this hate-based ideology that he couldn't sleep for the next five days. When I learned from my father that he shouldn't insult any religion, including Hinduism, this is one of the reasons why I'm giving this speech that's like my father as a human being. So what they are in party BKP, not that by removing Article 370, they corrected historic plunder, but they actually killed an historic fact. I agree with what Mark just said. By removing Article 370, Mr. Woody destroyed India's reputation as the largest democratic country on earth. As a student of history, let me remind you about all the facts about Kashmir. In the first millennium, Kashmir was the hub of Buddhas and Hindus. Then, in the 1200s, Muslims started pilgrimage to Kashmir. Millions of Buddhas and Hindus were converted to Islam. Then, in 1340, Muslims started ruling Kashmir. By 1440, 90% of Kashmir's population was Muslim. Then, the Samir dynasty started ruling from 1440 to 1586, or only 146 years. Emperor Akbar, aka Mughal Emperor, defeated the Samir dynasty and ruled from 1586 to 1800, 
went in 214 years. The government became so corrupt that even Muslims were reporting something called the Stick Revolt to allow Ranat Singh to take an overtaxed meter. But as soon as the British started ruling, they combined Jammu and Kashmir into Jammu Mir. Anyway, in 1941, they conducted a census that showed that the po population percentage of the new Jammu Mir. And the results were 77% Muslim, 20% Hindu, and 3% Buddha. In 1947, when the British realized that, that they lost their policing power to America, they freed all the British colonies around the world, including the one in India. Mahatma Gandhi wanted to keep India together, but they, Someone called Muhammad Ali Dina wanted to tear it apart. Muhammad Ali Dina won the argument, and he decided to tear it apart based on Islam. The non-Islam side turned into Hindustan, and the Islam turned into Pakistan. Pakistan always pretended since the 1941 census that Kashmir was part of Pakistan. But Kashmir decided to remain independent. As a result, Pakistan uh, lost its pieces. On October 22, 1947, Pakistan did a big mistake by sending Pashtun militias into Kashmir in an effort to capture it. Their, their mission was failed. But they terrorized the capital, Srinagar. However, the people of Kashmir did not like this aggressive behavior from Pakistan. So they decided to call help from India, just like the way Bangladesh did in 1971. India agreed, but only under one condition. Kashmir joined India as a state. However, the people of Kashmir did not like this aggressive behavior of Pakistan, and they decided to call help from India, just like the way Bangladesh did in 1971. India agreed, but only under one condition, that Kashmir would join India as a state. And Kashmir, after hearing this condition, came up with its own task then India must allow Kashmir to exercise to autonomy over everything except foreign affairs. The Indian army started entering Kashmir to kick out any Pashtun militias that Pakistan sent. As a result, the first Indo-Pakistan war began, and the war broke out between two newly independent countries Pakistan and India. Pakistan lost, but ever since it lost, it has been using a new way, a new strategy to capture Kashmir. Terrorism. Pakistan had a bit more patience. In 1947, Kashmir might have even joined Pakistan or it might have remained in an independent country. But Pakistan, after using so much violent tactics to try and pressure Kashmir, erased any such possibility that Kashmir would join Pakistan. Once again, Modi decided to remove Article 370 through the huge security clampdown, which is dangerous and wrong. Once again, Modi decided to remove Article 370 a huge security clamping, which is dangerous and wrong. Pakistan will use that opportunity in the future to, to mislead the uneducated Kashmiris and trick them into taking revenge against India by using terrorist attacks, unlike the ones they did in February, which killed an over 40 Indian soldiers. However, Kashmir should never use terrorism to defeat Mr. Modi because
by doing so would allow Kashmir, I mean allow Kashmir, allow Pakistan to use Kashmir as a political pawn. If they want to take revenge, they said the wars were too evil. Pakistan and the violence, and they said embrace education, especially Matt and Chai. Now I would like to talk with my brothers and sisters in Kashmir as directly as I possibly can. Is um, terrorism. Stop sending your children to Lakhar and Taiba to receive Taliban training. You do not need to make them Osama bin Laden. Rather, plant a tree in the mind of your children. And then they, too, can become Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. And they will at least become AP Day Abdul Kalam, if not Newton or Einstein. Now, if we start nurturing our children from today, in 20 years, we will have at least 5,000 AP Day Abdul Kalams in Kashmir. Kashmir will not only turn into the lighthouse of India, but turn into the lighthouse of the world. I decided to publish this book in Kashmir for Mr. Modi. Because Mr. Modi is not a human. He is a Hindu. Remember these words. There are no Hindu humans. There are no Buddha humans. There are no Christian humans. There are no Jewish humans. There is no Muslim human. But there is the human. Once Mr. Modi read this book, he will turn into a human. He will be, become a true human. He will go to Lok Sabha and say, as a Hindu, I love Hinduism, but I also love all other religions, including Islam. And the next day, he will go to Vidhan Sabha and say, as a Hindu, I love celebrating Durga Puja, but I also love celebrating all other religions religious holiday, including the E. I know I won't be able to find a publisher in Pakistan, so I'll go to Islamabad and I'll sit down on the street and wait until Mr. Khan takes this book from my hand. So once you read this book, Mr. Khan will turn into a human. Remember, he is not a human, he is a Muslim. I want to read this book, and I said, you will become human. There were no Muslim human, there were no Jewish human, there were no Christian human, there were no Hindu human, there were no Buddha human. Remember those words. So once you read this book, as I said, he will become a human. He will go to the Pakistan parliament and say, stop sending your children to Lashkari Taiba to receive Taliban training. I do not want them to become Osama bin Laden. Plant a dream in the minds of your children that they too can become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.